Alberta has lost 40,000 jobs this year so far, with many more surely to come, but Alberta's NDP jobs minister, Lori Sigurdsson, took time off from her job to campaign for Thomas Mulcair in British Columbia, of all places. Well, Sigurdsson is back in Alberta now. No news on the jobs front, but for her, that's boring. Too tough, and it's all bad news. So she made a different announcement, one that shows how fashionable she is and how important she is, and one that, just by coincidence, I'm sure, Sounds like it was written by Thomas Mulcair in Ottawa. Sigurdsson said she wants to, ta-da, bring in Syrian refugees to Alberta. Quote, the tragedy of the Syrian refugees is very troubling for this government, and we are working on a plan for Alberta. We're concerned about really vulnerable people having no place to go. We're a rich jurisdiction. We'd like to be able to support vulnerable people, unquote. Does this provincial cabinet minister have any other deep thoughts about national and international politics that she'd like to share? I mean, immigration and refugees are a federal jurisdiction. You can see it right there in our Constitution Act of 1867. It used to be called the BNA Act. It, it divides powers between Ottawa and the provinces. Ottawa's in charge of things like the post office and coins and money and the military. Provinces are in charge of things like hospitals and schools. Immigration and refugees? I don't think it'll surprise you to hear that's a federal jurisdiction. Section 9125 of our Constitution, naturalization and aliens, as it was called 150 years ago. Now, Lauren Sigurdsson has as much authority to decide what the Canada will take in hundreds or, I don't know, would it be thousands of Middle Eastern migrants as she would to decide what targets our CF-18 jets should attack, uh, which is zero authority. Just like the federal parliament has no power to say where a school or hospital in Alberta goes. But this isn't actually about governing. It's about politicking, it's about preening, about posing for the cameras, about seeming hip and caring and relevant, but mainly it's about changing the channel from the disastrous NDP government that has, in just four months, launched so many tax and regulatory attacks on the oil patch that global investors have put literally tens of billions of dollars in proposed investments on hold. Yeah, Lori Sigurdsson doesn't know a thing about creating jobs. To be honest, I don't think she even really wants to be a cabinet minister anymore. She's more at home giving speeches to Occupy Edmonton. Seriously, that's how extremist she is. She hasn't been a cabinet minister for four months and she's already going to other provinces to do political work there. She's already playing hooky. Laurie Sigurdsson doesn't know anything about immigration either or how bringing thousands of unskilled people to Alberta, many illiterate, many with post-traumatic stress disorder, many with extremist political views. She has no idea how that'll fit in with Alberta's economy, how it will likely just add to unemployment rolls and hospital lineups and stresses on schools. But so what? She's having fun. She's playing to the media. And she's doing Thomas Mulcair's errands for him. And that's a lot more fun than figuring out how to fix what her NDP have already broken. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.